Do you want to go pick up flowers for good anytime? Yes. Hi, Boo. Don't go, No, don't press also. So how many flowers do you want to get for good anytime? One, two, three. Only three? More than that. More than that. These flowers smell very, very nice, but we cannot smell them now. We must offer them first to Koranitai. Yes, they're very beautiful and white. Yes, can you see them? So we pick them up like this, look. You take and slowly you pull a little. Okay, see? One flower for Koranitai. You're gonna put it in the bag? Don't smell, okay, don't smell. Put it in the bag, yeah, don't smell it. You try to pick it up? is downstairs now with our son. It's nice to always try to find new ways to engage our son into doing some devotional activities. For him it appears to be simply like a game but it's really effective because um, it becomes a second nature for him that whatever we're doing even though it's fun it's to please the Lord it's to get you know flowers to offer to the Lord and, and he learns a lot you know just like he was asking oh, I want to smell the flower so I said no after we offer to God any time so these things would all stick in his mind and he will know uh, naturally you know that we, we cannot just like he you know, often helps my wife to cook he helps her you know take out the peas or uh, sometimes put some spices when she's cooking and he knows now cannot smell must first offer to God anytime you know then we can eat cannot eat first God anytime eat then we can have prashadam in this way so always is the is the duty of the parents to uh, tax their intelligence in how we can keep our children Krishna conscious, especially in a city environment, you know. Actually, Grihastas who do not preach, who do not want to distribute books, you know, they should be living outside of the city uh, in, in, and have their own land and cultivate their own food and have cows in this way. That is for the non-preacher Grihastas. Uh, but, you know, Kali Yoga is so made that even doing what was simple before hard now even acquiring a land cannot be that uh, an easy thing anymore so 
if we're in the city then at least we should try to find means to keep the house Krishna conscious uh, have the child do Krishna conscious activities as much as possible I will try to be showing more of uh, different other activities that we do with our son for example every evening uh, my wife reads Krishna stories to him Krishna books sometimes in the evening when I take the milk you know because we offer milk to Guaranita in the evening sometimes at night uh, I sit down with my son at the table and we both have our milk and then I discuss with him I speak I speak about Krishna so in this way you know always try to see how we can engage him in Krishna consciousness to make sure that his faith is very strong you know uh, as he grows up and as he gets uh, one day initiated then that will always already be you know, a very strong platform for him to progress from so this is our duty as parents we must make sure that they they are always absorbed in Krishna conscious activities so that they can see no rebirth